Right, shalom, I'm on giving all praise on the Abashim, Asha, Abashim, Makahak, Wadash. The bottom is on to the Apostles of Great Millstone. And the honest you others will be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. And above everybody, are coming out here to give you this truth for the grace and mercy of Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashim, Makahak, Wadash. Giving all praise on the Abashim, Asha, Abashim, Makahak, Wadash. Okay, um, this is going to be an in transit style video um, based upon this, this topic that we can see right here. And it's a pretty pretty straightforward, simple topic, which is uh, the conclusion of the whole thing, the whole conclusion of the matter. Okay, what is the end all be all of the situation that we're in right now, and the end all be all of the condition that we find ourselves in right now? What what is what did, what what is it all about? What's it all going to add, add up onto? All right, and the precepts for this is is, is pretty simplistic. It's the scripture here that we've got within the book of Ecclesiasticus, the 13th chapter, 12th chapter on the 13th verse, like here. And um, it says, let us hear the whole conclusion of, let's, let's hear the conclusion of the matter. Fear the Mosai, which, let's take pause there and, and uh, assess that particular scripture with reference to who we are, which is the men of the Lord, and what we are here to do, which is to teach the word. See, if you're moving in fear, if you're moving in the fear of the heavenly father, Yahweh Man, you're gonna you're gonna fear the most high, man. Okay, if you're moving with the fear of the heavenly father, Yahweh Shemal Shai, these particular things, especially in the time that we're in right now, which is the end of the days, right? It's the end time or the end times, right? If you need more spirit, spirit, if you need more convincing than this, then man, man, you might not be that guy. You might not be that guy. I mean, like, how much more do you have to see Esau losing his damn mind trying to set this new world order? How much more have you got to see your people, the condition of the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans deteriorate? How much more have you got to see this world get, 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 get destroyed? Indeed, we're at the end of this thing, man. Indeed, we're at the end of the Hebrew, Ed the Hebrew Edomites rulership. The, the end of the Hebrew Edomites rule. I mean, that's a beautiful thing, okay? That's a beautiful thing to see the fall of your enemy. And if you fear the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashem Shai, then you are going to move in a way where these things are going to be present to you to understand, to know, and to hear, okay? You was going to fear the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashem Shai, and you was going to be able to understand these particular things. Right? So let us fear the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashim Shai, and continue with this work, which is what we've been set forth onto the earth to do. Okay? Let's do this work, man. That's, the, that's our instructions. We gotta fear the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashim Shai, man. That's our instruction. We've been given, we, we, we've been given a job to do. Right? We got a job to do, man. Teach the word. Okay? Teach the word. It's not fancy, right? It's not super duper glorious, but really it is super duper glorious. You know, Jake wants to get the whole fleshly, fleshly lust out of the way and all of that. And he wants to get the fleshly glory, but brother, this is enough, man. This is enough. Okay, this is enough, man. We got enough. Considering what great weight of glory that we're going to receive off of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shema Shai, in the kingdom to come, we've got enough. We've been given enough, man. Okay, so let us hear the whole conclusion of the matter. Fear the Most High, okay, and keep His commandments. And the Scripture goes on to say, "I got, I got, I'm, I'm turning right now." So I was gonna, I was gonna just recall it off the top of my head, so I might miss a word here or there. But it says, "Fear the, fear the Most High and keep His commandments." This is the whole, the, the, this is the whole duty of man. That's what we've been set out here to do. And, and, and what's the so therefore what's the duty of the prophets? To fear the heavenly father Yahabashi Mashai, to keep his commandments. This is the commandments that you've heard from the beginning. Okay, that's our that's our instructions. That's what we've been given to do. We've been told to come out here and teach this word. You teach this word, you teach this word. Nothing fancy about it. We ain't been come we haven't been told to come out here and try some vain glory and all, all kind of craziness, man. Right? Keep the thing simple. Okay? Our whole duty up on the face of the planet, us the men of the Lord, is to fear the Most High and keep His commandments. What's His commandments? Go out and teach the twelve tribes of Israel. Okay. Go out and teach the twelve tribes of Israel. 
But Jake out here wants to take the Okay, it's nice now, it's summer, right? But Jake wants to take the winners off And they come up with some excuses for that Jake wants to go jet setting And they come and take the, uh, make excuses about that Because they, they, what part of the instruction What part of the instruction is to go out there and jet set? The most I just said, go out there and teach, man You ain't gonna make this whole thing fancy We ain't out here to be fancy Okay, we're just simple men Right, doing a simple job Okay, we're simple men doing a simple job. If you had a contractor, and you told him it was a plasterer, the guy came, rolled up, right? The guy rolled up in a Jaguar, in a Jaguar, um, what do you call it, man? One of them fancy cars, man, or a BMW 5 Series, or BMW 7 Series, you put the tools in the back of the boot. You're gonna say, this guy, this, this guy ain't serious, man. He ain't got the right tools for the job. He's out here on some stunting things. He ain't even got a work van. That's like an unto them Jake's out here that are all about the superficial side of this, this, this pushing this, this ministry and try to find ways to, 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 to overcomplicate it. The scripture talks about the simplicity that's in your house, right, man. We're here. We're here to push the word. Okay, that's the commandments. We're here to push the, the word. We've been put on the earth to push the word. There's no two ways about it. Okay? There's no two ways about it, man. Teach the word of the Heavenly Father, you about Shema Shai, man. Right? We've been, we've been giving the instruction to constantly endure. Constantly endure and keep on to the word of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashem, Yahshat, man. To be increased at the latter end. That's what it's all about, man. Being increased at the latter end. We're not here for, 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 for glory. We're not here, right, to, to get some W's on this side. We're here, like we've been instructed from the beginning of time, to teach the word in season, out of season. All right? And to draw on to the end. That's it. But that I'm gonna say, I'll praise unto you, Abashima Ashai, Abashima Kaha, Kodash, double honors unto the apostles of great millstones. Honors your brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.